I, I love the school. I love the area. I love everything about the school. Here they treat you more like family. If it wasn't for Grand Avenue, I don't know where he'd be at right now. It's, it's a fun school to be around. It's just sad it has to go. It's sad. school has been here in the uh, Paramore Holden Heights area since 1926. Um, it serves the students and the families in um, one of the most challenging areas of Central Florida. Some of the challenges include homelessness, high crime, high mobility. There's High poverty in the sense that every student, all, all students qualify for free breakfast, free lunch. It's typically not just one of those factors that impact learning. It's um, the perfect storm. It's all of them coming together. It'll serve as the um, challenges for our staff. So we, you know, we embrace those challenges. I'm so blessed. So fortunate to work with teachers who find joy in working through um, solutions and um, tackling those challenges and doing the best we can to help children learn, uh, to help them grow academically, socially, and emotionally, and to help our families learn how to support their children. This place is home. It's home for our kids, for our staff. We are one huge family. Um, a crazy, fun, wonderful family. It's one of those places that doesn't feel like a job. It's just my passion, what I love. And it's like you wake up and even if you're not in that great of a mood, you get here and you're just, you know, smiling and having a great day. I have always said it, Grand Avenue is the, the best kept secret in Orlando. People come here from all over the country to visit this model school for, for different programs and different things that are going on. This has been what they call a full service school, but I don't think anybody in the county really knows what full service means at Grand Avenue. Because we do, we look after the families because they are our families. Everything's really rewarding here. Um, Every day is a new day and every day has its own celebrations and its own challenges. It's tough um, and sometimes it's heartbreaking um, but also a lot of times it's you're laughing and cutting up with the families and you really you feel um, part, of the, part of the community. Going beyond ABC's one, two, threes but also helping them um, learn about kindness and, and um, pride and, and believe in themselves to know that they can um, do anything. What do you like about school? It's really awesome. <laughs> what do you like about this school? Is this school special to you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. This school is great and we get to go to fun things. We get to go on field trips and whenever we see something and we learn about things, we get to go see it. Good when your teachers tell you that you can do things? Yeah. What does that make you feel like? Like proud and confident. How do the teachers make you feel here? Great. Without them, some people will go crazy. So you're happy that you had them in your life? In math, I had a really hard time uh, on one of the levels on ST math. It was about regrouping and I didn't know what to do so Mrs. Taser would help me out. Yes! I like it a lot. Me too. You don't have to raise your hand. 
I, I like about the school is about eating great food and to getting healthy and all, and all of that. And then the most important thing I like about the school is learning. I like the teachers around here. They I like a lot. A lot. Nice. 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 Your turn. It's her turn. No, it's hers. Oh, go. Mom, go. I said nicely. Oh, there. Your turn. There. Do you feel like you learned a lot at this school? I feel like I learned yeah. thousands and tons of very Me too. I Me feel too. like I've learned few or, or more from my house than from the school. Good point. Good boy. Good point. Thanks. Very, very good point. Up on the housetop, reindeer paws. Out jumps good old Santa Claus. Down through the chimney with lots of toys. Drive just um, our um, expression of love to the children to try to uh, provide something for them over the holidays, um, give them some things that uh, we know they need. So, you know, it usually involves some clothing, some shoes. Definitely, everybody will re you know, receives books. We include toys or some stuffed animals and some things that we feel will make them happy over the holidays. You know, just it's a gesture um, from the Grand Avenue family to um, our our families and to the children in particular. comes and the kids come in and to see their faces it's just incredible and to s just to see that they, the magic there's still magic here and kids still believe and um, we get to be part of that so that's really really cool. Santa has a lot of kids houses Santa so sometimes Shania yeah. sometimes he comes to school instead so he knows where you'll be. We had kind of a schedule, like a, depending on when they would come back from recess. So we had the teacher stagger um, so that she could be in there and she had a walkie talkie. So <laughs> we could kind of really make sure that we didn't want the students to see us delivering the gifts. We really wanted to make it um, as if Santa had brought all the gifts for them because for a lot of them this is their Christmas. Um, and so Miss um, R was in there and she got the, the, that moment. And the pictures, I mean, pictures are worth a thousand words. Some of the pictures are absolutely priceless of their faces. I didn't want the kids to have to worry about writing a thank you note to Santa, you know, and so that's what all those, those, the pictures do. And the donors love seeing the pictures of the kids' faces and, um, and their reaction. I think it's been highly successful. Some people have worked really hard to make it very, um, um, very special. We have um, involved our partners in education, some you know business partners, some people who it was their opportunity to connect and to to, to you know pay it forward and to be uh, a part of something bigger than themselves um, over the holidays and to give and it was our way to give as well. You know, multiple family nights every year and we've had them for as long as I, I can remember. And um, the, the goal is to bring families together to uh, really share in food, fellowship, and learning to uh, educate our families 
Uh, the last one we had a couple of weeks ago, the focus was on positive discipline. And we had Dr. Becky Bailey come out as our guest speaker. You know, so the goal is usually to share some strategies and share ideas that will help our, our families, parents, grandparents, whoever are the guardians of our children, uh, help their, their children. Since it's our last year, Mr. Rodriguez uh, tasked us with leaving a legacy. And so we wanted to leave a legacy to our families of just um, new ways of thinking about discipline, disciplining their kids um, and understanding how where you're at in the brain, what state you're in, will affect learning, it will affect behavior, and just give them some ideas um, to help them um, maybe bring more positive discipline in, in to their lives and also into their children's. And it's, those are techniques that we try as teachers here to practice as well. It's very important. I mean, it shows the kids that that you care, that you're more involved in what they do. See, I'm 100% I'm on my daughter. Like, I do everything. And if we don't do it at the school, we do it at the Jackson Center, at church. We're everywhere. But I feel the parents that don't, I mean, it's lack of communication with your kids. Like, you need to know what your kids are up to, what your kids are doing. The habit of yelling when I talk to my kids. And she actually taught me different on the yelling and non-yelling. Because when I yell at my two-year-old son, he looks at me like I'm crazy. But then when I talk to him, he's like, oh, okay. So, I mean, she taught me a lot. Yeah, she taught me things that I need to work on myself. We tried to connect what we were doing, um, what we wanted Dr. Bailey to present to the families with our kids so that they could leave here with information and also with um, concrete things to take home and start right away. So we aligned all of our activities with what she was teaching the families, which was ways to calm yourself so that you can respond um, to situations instead of reacting in um, maybe a way that could get you in trouble or cause more um, trouble or hardship for you as well too. So the kids have uh, got some icons that they colored that they can take home and then look at to practice some breathing techniques. Um, they also heard a story that was about a little guy who had a problem and how he was able to get his calm to solve it. And they sang a song to practice the skill too of stopping, taking a breath and relaxing. Hi, my name is Sabrina Singh and I am a Valencia student. I actually was a pre k -er here and I was at kindergarten here, so in a sense I graduated from Grand Avenue Primary Learning Center and I just uh, came back because I really love the school. My teacher, her name was Miss Skoma and she was one of the best teachers I've ever had. Ms. Skoma, she was a great teacher. I really loved her and I just remember, I mean Grand Avenue is the same as it has been. It, it's like a flashback from the past every time I come here. Significant up. Well my baby did three years here so and I did the family nights, every one that they've had, and now he's not even here at Grand Avenue, but I'm still invited. I come back as an alumni parent. I still attend their great beginnings breakfast, their great endings program, and the family nights like tonight. Our three teachers I had, they was fun, and they cared about us. They made sure we didn't get hurt. 
I love about the caring, the caring, the caring of the principals, the teachers. They're not in it for the money. They're in it because they really care about these kids. The staff, the interaction that they have with families and students, they know all their students. You go to another school, they're like, oh, well, I have to look and find out who the person is. Here, everybody knows everybody. It was really good. I liked it. Um, so did the kids. They enjoyed it. There's a lot of the things that they taught that my son is doing. He was showing me the pretzel move to try to calm himself down. Like, it's, it was really awesome. And I won the raffle, so. <laughs> One of the biggest things that we focus on at Grand Avenue is relationships. Relationships with our kids, relationships with our parents, and relationships as a staff. It's important to be a team together, to have open communication, um, and to involve them as much as we can in their child's schooling and in their academic learning. I guess in the beginning I didn't um, get to know the families as much because there was a divide between the school and the um, community. But over the years that relationship with the families and the community has grown. So um, now it's more of a community school. It's just a, it's just a real fun a, a atmosphere to come to. You know, some when you take a school, you be like, oh, I gotta get up and go to school. But you have fun here, you know? Be, even though they done broke down the um, second grade, you know, they have a lot of activities for the parents and the um, students to do together. So that's what I like about it. Everybody sticks together. It's, it's a fun school to be around. Actually, it's one of my favorite things about Grand Avenue. It's very, very accepting of everyone as they are. You know, you're in your pajamas, fine. You're in your sleeping cap, done. You don't have your teeth in, that's okay. I mean, whatever it is, come as you are, however you are, we want you here. It doesn't matter if you've got to bring all your kids and your neighbor's kids and your nieces and nephews, bring them. It's just very um, open. It's just, we're all a family, we're not judging. That's. I think one of the biggest strengths of this school, and I think our, it took a while for our parents to realize we're not out to get you, we're not out to judge you. You know, when we do a home visit, we're not here to get you in trouble. We're here because we want you to know we care about you and your child. And once they realized, okay, they're here to help, um, then they were more um, inclined to come in. Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon. Are you ready to party? We plan to throw a great party tonight. It is so lovely to see all these faces. I know our staff members are really moved by uh, those who came tonight. I see, uh, I've already seen tears of joy from my staff members and from fellow students. I want to tell you what a blessing it has been for me to be the Grand Avenue principal for the last almost 14 years. It's, it's an awesome feeling. I had already been a principal at three other schools prior to Grand Avenue. No school comes close to Grand Avenue. This is a very unique place because it's in a unique setting and because I got a chance to meet people who have turned, about, turned out to be some of the best people I've ever met in my life. 
Tonight we're celebrating Grand Avenue, what it stands for, its values. For 90 years, this school has ministered to the needs of families and students and staff. Because while we have given a lot, we've gained a lot. Our next guest speaker is a former student here at Grand Avenue. Not only is he a former student, but he has another connection with the school. His mother is Holly Robbins, one of our first grade teachers. And besides being a former student and the son of Ms. Robbins, he volunteers many, many, many hours for Grand Avenue. We would like to introduce to you Mr. Kendrick Craigenhorn. I attended Grand Avenue in the years of 2005-2006. I don't remember much about that year, but I do remember my fourth grade class with Mrs. Gabrielson, right over in room 202. Most of my memories about that year were with kids on the run with Miss Priscilla, our class field trip to St. Augustine, and getting my hair braided for the first time, which really helped. But a bigger lesson I learned that year was to remain humble in everything I did. Unlike some of the other kids, I came to class every day with name brand clothes, a full stomach, and a good night's sleep, just wishing all of my classmates arrived to the school with the same feeling. In later years, as I continued to help around the campus, I reminisced on how grateful I should be. Grand Avenue has offered me the feeling that we are all a family. Whether it was helping Ms. Prezikowski organize the media center, running around the baseball field with Ms. Frisella, painting with Ms. Bonowitz, reading with Ms. Wilder, eating lunch with Mr. Kelly, selling pickled eggs with my good friend Dion. I always felt at home from everyone here at Grand Avenue. And I thank all of you, but I'd especially like to thank Mr. Rodriguez. Um, he's offered every one of us a helping hand when we need one, and plays a fatherly, fatherly role in many lives. I would like to personally thank him for everything he has done, not only for me, but the Paramore community. Can we get a round of applause for him? <laughs> Even though our time here at Grand Avenue comes to a close, the knowledge that everyone here has provided these children will live on. So please don't look back and feel sad that it is ending. Look back and remember all the lives you have touched and the people you have changed. I know I am one of them. Thank you.
I think I'm going to miss driving in the neighborhood and seeing the kids outside playing. Um, I think I'm going to miss the people here for sure um, and knowing their stories and what brought them here. And everybody that's here wants to be here. Um, we don't have a very high turnover rate, so I think um, I'll miss that. They're from this area and um, what they sometimes face coming to us, coming from you know, homes or the neighborhood like that, that um, I, I will miss that and the challenge and just the, the hug. Oh, I know how to do that now. Thank you, Ms. Rives, on that. Little notes from parents and all that kind of thing. So, yeah, just the fact that we need to make a difference here. So, and the staff. <laughs> it's because we're so small and so many of the teachers have been here so long in administration. We've seen each other through many, many, many things. It's going to be sad to have that taken away. It's going to take a really long time to build that up somewhere else. And I don't know that there are that many communities that are this tiny. I mean, you know, there, our world here is about two square miles of the school and that's, that's the world. When we go on field trips and they see anything, they're like, oh, look at that, look at that, look at that, because they haven't seen it. They, this is just their whole area. So, um, you know, it takes a long time to get something that complex and that tight-knit. So I'm really going to miss that. Whew. Um, um, let me think. There's so many things. <laughs> um, I would say probably just the opportunity to give. Um, sorry. Um, not only to the the kids, but also to the families and to, um, you know, all the, the interns and just everybody that comes here. It's such a special place. Um, but I think, you know, it's just, it's amazing that we all get to work together, all friends and, um, just the freedom that we have to be able to actually teach. And that's so rare, you know, people come to this school and they always say it's a very special place. It is. Um, so I just think we all feel so special that we were able to work here and be able to give to this community. And I'd say that's what I'm most proud of, is our dedication, um, even when it was hard, you know, but it was an amazing opportunity. Sorry. When I began my career, um, I've always had a love of at-risk children. And I began that journey in Winter Park. And then I went to another school and spent 14 years there. And then I had to wait two years to get into Grand Avenue. And I knew that this was where I wanted to be for a very long time, not knowing that the school was going to close. This is my mission in life, my ministry in life, because here at Grand Avenue, you're not only teaching and working with children, you're teaching and working with families. And that's been very important to me. Batman. Oh, yeah. oh, it's heavy! Is that real gold? Come on, that's real gold. No, Andrew. Yeah. Real heavy, anyway. Yeah, real heavy. I got a screwdriver. Wait, can I try? I gotta get back to Grace. I want to hold No fair for me. I'm a champion. I think what I'll miss about the school um, is, is again that. Uh, that community. Um, what I'll miss is uh, that there there is a presence uh, right here um, in our neighborhood um, of a, a, a huge group of people that care, that have a heart um, for this community um, beyond just us right here. And uh, that's 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 going to be missed. Um, that there is the, that group of people, that group of teachers, that group of staff um, who loved uh, on the students and on their families. Um, won't be right there um, in that place and uh, even just that the, the school itself being able to drive by and see it uh, and know uh, that it's, it's caring for the community that's that's gonna be what we miss. Now knowing that I have to close everything out and not have 
these kids here with me every day to make me laugh and to make me smile um, is going to be really hard. Um, also, just knowing that I have so many friends here in the staff that always have my back. Um, they always are supportive no matter what. Um, they love each other. I mean, we treat each other like we're family and we know that at the end of the day, anyone here on the staff and on the campus would do anything for anyone else. And that's rare. Uh, for one, the people, the, the great atmosphere that they give you and just the excitement that we had at Grand Avenue. That they're awesome and keep being awesome and doing everything the same because there's really nothing for them to change is is really good. Overall, it, it's the uh, people that I work with. They're great. Uh, they have, we have a great bunch um, here, and the kids. They're they're also wonderful and they're willing to learn. Everybody's all in, 100%. More than that, but I don't think that. It's going to be very easy to ever come by again to go, you know, a place where just everybody's so invested in what they're doing and cares so much. I think that will be, um, you know, this is a once in a lifetime opportunity here. I will definitely miss the kids and the families the most. I think that I've worked in, um, in other places and the families and the kids just aren't the same. The appreciation level for what we do as teachers is definitely there. And um, our appreciation level for what they do for their kids, even though it's some of the hardest circumstances, is there as well. And I think that that mutual appreciation um, makes all the difference and it makes coming to work the best thing ever. So. I'll miss the parents in that way because I know that they truly love us for what we do for their kids. And I'll, of course, miss the kids the most. They are the, the most amazing kids. They come from hard circumstances and you would never know because they're so full of life and they love us unconditionally and we love them unconditionally. So. You know, I don't have kids of my own and they truly are my kids. So it's gonna be really hard not to be here next year to see where they go and, to, and not have them know where I am to come back and visit. Um, it makes me really sad. Um, I honestly thought that I would just be here until I stopped teaching <laughs> or I was hoping at least. Um, so this transition is gonna be super hard. When I came here to Grand Avenue and saw the need that these kids need and all the things that they love and that they just need constant love and affection as well as learning and academics, um, I, couldn't, I couldn't get enough and I didn't ever want to leave. These kids are so special and um, I think the fact that we're such a small school and there's so much love um, in the culture of our school that the kids really feel safe to be themselves and their personalities just shine. You know, we've seen kids um, starting in pre-K that were handfuls and then by the time they were in second grade they were just, you know, completely blossomed and, um, and so I think I'll miss that, you know, the most for sure. Uh -oh. We were really um, intentional in building relationships with these families and we genuinely love and care about the students and the community. We did our best to try to bring some normalcy to what might otherwise be a chaotic situation. It's almost like a mission for many of us to be here and, and to, um, to teach and, and to support this community. So I think I'll miss that camaraderie. Uh, I definitely miss the children, I mean, that's, that goes without saying, but um, I think just the, what's been created is what I'm going to miss. It's a, it's a really special place, and I don't know if I'll ever work in a place that has, um, that's the same. 
this school is like a family um, and I can't imagine ever being able to like replicate that. So um, it's going to be really hard. It's a rush to work here at Grand Avenue. Every day is different. You never know what they will bring. But what is consistent is that there will be exciting moments and that there will be um, opportunities, uh, many opportunities to teach students, teach children, um, and to minister to needs of others. The children have helped me learn to be a better principal, help me learn to be a better person. I still have a lot of areas to grow in both those areas. I was, like many people who end up here, called. I feel like called to come um, and try to do my best uh, to make a difference. The best thing is the children. Near the top of the list, of course, is getting to work with excellent people really high quality people, caring, competent teachers who, who really have an amazing work ethic, who um, are so amazingly dedicated to their craft and to the profession. You know, someone once said, um, being happy is doing what you love, surrounded by people you love. So I think that explains one of the reasons why I've been so happy um, for the last 13 years. Good afternoon staff, good afternoon boys and girls. We are down to our final time out. We're going to use it now. We have just a few announcements. To the families who are on campus, I just want to thank all of you for your support. It's been an honor to work with all of our families. To our teachers and staff, I want to thank you for your um, dedication and your service and the unconditional love you have demonstrated to our children and to you boys and girls. I want to tell you that I'm going to visit you at your new school. I know you're going to do big things. I'm very proud of you. Thank you for working so hard. Know that we always want you to be safe. We always want you to be kind. And please remember, above all things, that we love you and that we will always love you. The seven nice safe calm dismissal. Enjoy the afternoon, boys and girls. Enjoy the summer. Wishing you all a happy life. Remember we love you. Well, Grand Avenue has been my home, as it's been home to many of our other teachers and staff and family for many years. Um, I've been blessed to be able to work here um, teaching the children of the Paramore and Holden Heights area, working with a staff that is bar none, very helpful and considerate, and they all care about these kids. They chose to stay here, as I did, so um, it, that's a special thing. And um, I wish them well. I want them to know that these kids will be looked at and tracked, and we'll keep an eye on them wherever they end up going, because they're part of us and part of our hearts. So. Thank you. <sighs> well, this place is a family. It has become my home. Um, this is like my house. These are my kids. Um, so hopefully people will remember it in a positive way. I know that I'll never forget it, and we hope that you won't either. It's been such a blessing to be part of this school and what we do and these children, so. Man, some of the greatest kids in the world <laughs> go to this school right here. And, and, and you know what? And every time they come by here, you got what they're saying. Hey, Uncle JJ, every day, they love this school. Something I want people to know about Grand Avenue is just definitely um, the, 
everybody's love for their unconditional love for um, the the students and the families and their well-being, the whole child. You know, we, we always talk about that in education, the whole child, but. Here it's living, you know, we care about the children from the minute they wake up to how they get home, you know, we, that love for them um, is definitely unique. Um, and just this overall experience, how special it's been. It's been such an amazing opportunity to be part of this school. In my 40 year career, my experience at Grand Avenue tops all of the other places that I've been. And I wish all of the families and the children here well. And I'm not going to say goodbye, just see you later. Well, to the staff uh, of Grand Ave, you've done an incredible job. And what you have done for the past uh, several years, several, several years, long before uh, we were here, uh, is to uh, establish a, a place that um, educated kids, but loved on families even more than that. Um, and for that, um, uh, you can't be repaid. Um, there can't be a price tag on that. And so the community, um, New City, uh, we say thank you um, for that from the bottom of our hearts. Thank you, Grand Avenue staff, from appreciating my son to come a long way. Avenue is the greatest school ever. It's so sad to see it closing. I wish it could stay open forever. We have the best teachers here, the best principal, and the best staff. We love you, Grand Avenue. We're sure going to miss you. I'm going to miss you, and I enjoyed being here. And I thank you for teaching my kids so very much. Even though we've been here for only a couple of years, you know, we've always been a great influence on the kids around. Mm -hmm. And oh, thanks to everybody here. She's a rising star. So we appreciate it. We have not heard the last of Thank you so much. No, that is true. Hey, always. Like he's totally not Kalisto, to walk in the picture. Remember these two words, big things, baby. That's what I expect out of you, big things. Oh, yeah. All right. I'm going to come see you. Okay. Ran right straight into you, not to Bye, Missy. Big things, Kalisto. Bye, guys. Bye, Emma. You too. Miss Rodriguez. Yes, Grand Avenue family. I just want to tell everyone that I love you guys. You have been there for me. You never turned your back on me. And you always act about the family. And I love you guys for that. I'd just like to say that I wish that um, Grand Avenue could remain Grand Avenue right where it is. But Knowing the situation, I know that we have to move, so hopefully that we can make Grand Avenue somewhere else. Grand Avenue has been a sense of purpose for me. Um, every day I go home, I feel like my heart is full. Um, I've never felt like this before, and it's an amazing feeling to know that I'm making a difference not only in the kids' lives, but they are making a huge difference in mine. And I know that we all feel that way here, and um, I'm just really glad and thankful that I've had the opportunity to be here and to experience this love and to experience all the laughs and hardships and all the things that we have together. And um, I just will miss my grand family. What's the most fun thing you guys do here? Um, do some Fun Friday and what do you do on Fun Friday? Um, do Fun Friday stuff. <laughs> <laughs> like what? what? What's something you like to do? Like playing with slinkies. <laughs> okay. A giant okay. one. <laughs> um, what's your what's your name? Daddy. Curry. Jane. DJ. Okay. Cool. 
cool. What grade are you in? First grade. May 11, I'm seven. So who's your teacher? Miss Monic. What do you like about her? That like, that like, um, she gives you, she gives you extra homework. You like extra homework? Why do you like extra homework? Yeah, because you get to do two pages a day. That's, that's pretty cool. Do you have any brothers and sisters that go here? I got one brother that goes here. Okay, okay how old is he? Four. So you guys hang out during the day or not really? Hmm? You guys hang out during the day? We like play basketball and multi-person. Okay. Um. The reason why I call him Curry because he don't know how to dunk. <laughs> That's funny. High five.